Welcome to the fire demonstration for residential sprinklers. The Spokane Fire Department has done this a couple different times and uh, we thought this was a good occasion to be able to demonstrate the effectiveness of fire sprinklers in a very dramatic way. What we're going to be doing today is there are two pretty much identical rooms. It's really hard to find uh, used furniture that's identical, but it's pretty much two identical rooms as much as possible. Uh, one of them has a fire sprinkler and one of them does not. What we're going to do is we're going to burn the first one that does not have a fire sprinkler. Uh, let it go to flashover. So those of you that are over on the right side, you're definitely going to get warmer than you are right now. Then we're going to operate the uh, unit that does not have, or excuse me, that has a fire sprinkler and be able to do the comparison. We'll have a timer going here, so we'll be able to, to be able to see how quickly a fire can go to flashover. And what flashover is is basically everything that's in the room will basically combust at the same time. So it's, it's a very spectacular uh, uh, a situation. You may have seen some of the photos inside the building, what this looks like, but there's nothing like being here in front of this. We've had some challenges in the past getting some of these things to light, so hopefully we're going to have a good uh, fire here. Because over the fire department, we're not put fire out. We're not very good at starting them. I've also got with me the uh, temperature gauge. We have a, th have a thermal couple inside of the unit. I'll be able to register the temperature. We started at 62 degrees. We're already at 78, 85, 94, 99, 104, 108. As you can see, the temperature goes quite, quite quickly. 155, 163, 195, 223. 265, 305 degrees, 389 degrees, 430 degrees, 500 degrees. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. Seven hundred and ninety degrees. One thousand degrees. Thirteen hundred and fifty degrees. Fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred degrees. I think we're gonna have to kill it from there. Uh, we actually give it give it a little bit more time. Let's go. Let's go ahead and kill it. Uh, yeah, because it's 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 burning. Let's go ahead and kill it. We got up to 1,700 degrees in less than two minutes within this room. Some general statistics that you may or may not be aware of with, uh, residential, with, uh, with residential fires is there is approximately 3,000 deaths a year to fire. And that's something that we're trying to reduce as much as possible. When you look at uh, how buildings are constructed, normally commercial buildings are provided with sprinklers, but residential buildings such as homes and duplexes, those types of things are usually not. One of the things that we're trying to do as a, as a fire service is to help educate people that it may seem like these are very expensive and very difficult systems to install, but they can be done very simply and very easily. As more and more systems are, are becoming installed, it's actually becoming cheaper to be able to put these systems in. Well, whenever we do these types of things, it's always interesting to see what's going to happen. Obviously, with the first one, the plexiglass is not supposed to fall off, but it, it does demonstrate the effectiveness. Normally, in a room like that, we would get a flashover in three and a half minutes, and we got a flashover in less than two minutes. So it does show the fire is very unpredictable. Okay, what we're going to do is uh, the unit with the fire sprinkler. So this time, the guys, they'll be ready just in case something happens, but it is provided with one residential sprinkler within this unit. So we'll go ahead and get it started.
Okay, we start about 60 degrees in the room. Smoke detector is activated. Temperature is slowly increasing up to 75 degrees, 80 degrees, up to 100 degrees, 133 degrees. Fire sprinkler activates in 41 seconds. Temperature is decreasing now, 116 degrees in the room. Give it another minute and then turn it off. Already down to 100 degrees in the room. And we'll ask you to be the judge as to which space would you rather be in.